Dear Christian, Congratulations on your victory at the Arkansas Geography Bee. I saw the newspaper clipping and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. What an incredible accomplishment. When I was in high school, I also represented Arkansas at an event in Washington, D.C. for the American Legion Boys Nation. I hope your experience there was as memorable as mine. I'm delighted to hear you've been so active in the community. Keep up the great work. Sincerely and signed, Bill Clinton. My name is Christian Bukow. I'm going to represent Arkansas at the National Geography Bee. I go to Hot Springs School District, and this is the fourth year I've competed at state and the third year I've competed at nationals. Hot Springs is a wonderful place. Um, there's a lot of tourist attractions to see, and of course it's named after the hot springs that are a natural source of water that come up from the ground. And those hot springs have many uses. There's like, but um, the Indians used to use them to cleanse themselves and get rid of um, arthritis to relieve their pain. And there we have the bathhouse row. The hot springs is also famous for crystals. And here's a really, really big one right here. And we have our own crystal mine that you can mine your own, mine your own crystals. And if I remember correctly, there was a diamond at the Smithsonian Museum last year, and it was like ginormous. <laughs> and it, the plaque next to it said from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Well, I've kind of had my eyes set on the saxophone since the youngest of ages, because my dad and my mom were raised in Louisiana, but my dad especially lived in Baton Rouge, and that's very close to New Orleans, and we would visit there all the time. And I would see these sax players just sitting on the street, playing their heart out and getting money for it, and I thought, that's going to be me someday. I'm going to come down here and play in the New Orleans streets. And so that's kind of one of my life's dreams. And so in fifth grade, I played the clarinet to step up to the saxophone when, they, when it was available. And so I passed all the tests for it, and I got my saxophone at the end of fifth grade, and I've been playing it since. We went today to the Mid-America Science Museum um, to get a few shots of me <laughs> on how I study. And <laughs> uh, we went to the Tesla coil, and that was that huge caged electric battery stuff. <laughs> and um, we kind of just looked around at the museum. It is a Smithsonian affiliate, and so it's sponsored by the Smithsonian. It's a really, really cool museum. I could live there. It's amazing. Prepping for the bee is probably one of the hardest things that I have to do. It starts basically with looking at maps, but once you get the basics of things and where the things are in the capitals, major cities, you have to like know more than just where things are. You have to know about them, what they look like, the history of it, the culture, the mountains, the rivers. Geography is very, very important to for anybody to know and it's a shame they don't teach it in the school systems like they used to because if you if someone doesn't know about the world they live in they just know about the one place that they are and they're missing out on the entire rest of the world like it kind of feels to me I've known where places are for a long long time but if I didn't know where anything was I would feel like I would I would be trapped in one place. And if you know where the world is, you have a larger sense of where you live and how other people live and that there aren't people who are just exactly like you. There's a whole different variety of people and the place where you live isn't, it's not like that around the entire world. It's different and changing, ever changing. It's just Geography seems like a necessity in life.